Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my uh, advanced tech visual channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your Windows laptop with easy and advanced tips. Okay, so whether you are dealing with lag or like slow startups or like you just want to make your system faster, right? So uh, here I have got some uh, pro tips. Uh, okay, guys, let's start. Uh, first tip will be um, like whenever your system turned on or like when you are a system is booting up no so some application will be uh, appear in the screen right like edge or like team some application will come right so that is kind of like startup application no so uh, that kind of application we have to disable this okay by disabling like uh, your system will be uh, more faster like if it is booting then we are facing some issues no so that kind of application uh, we have to uh, stop the startups right so uh, for that we have to search for startup apps then open the setting so here you guys like we have to disable the startup applications uh, my system like teams and uh, pc manager mobile devices and phone link and also power automated desktop like this kind of is already by default enabled so that we have to disable it okay so by doing this our system will be faster and uh, second tips will be like uh, we have to delete some temporary files for example um, whenever you're browsed uh, some website and all no so that will be uh, that kind of catch will be stored in your system c drive okay so this kind of temporary we have to uh, files we have to delete it okay so for that uh, we have to um, open run command okay so just uh, press for uh, windows plus r then type temp then click on okay then delete all the temporary files okay mine is already deleted uh, but there are some uh, new time files or there so that we have to delete it so uh, for deleting just select all then shift plus delete for temporary then click on s okay let's keep that <clears throat> then close it and again uh, there are some uh, like again just type for uh, percentage temp percentage so this one also we have to uh, select all then delete it okay keep it and delete <clears throat> and again we have to delete some prefetch files so for that go to the windows plus r and type colon slash windows slash prefetch okay so this path you have to find out then click on OK, then select all and delete. Okay, so once it is deleted, uh, okay, okay, guys, next uh, you have to update your Windows uh, patches. Okay, so every month, uh, Windows they're providing uh, new latest patches, so we have to uh, update our system. Okay, so for that, you have to search, check for updates then you have to click on here okay so it will start to update so mine is already updated so that's what uh, it won't ask but you have to uh, do yourself okay closing okay uh, after that uh, we have to uh, clean the disk so for that you have to search for disk clean up open Okay, click on you have to select C, then uh, open the disk cleanup okay so here you have to select all the files okay optimization uh, it's selected 75 MB is like this will be uh, deleted like uh, we have to clean okay so click on okay delete the files getting deleted now yes 
not deleted okay guys uh, next tips will be uh, okay uh, let me show you the task manager first okay so first search for task manager on that here uh, some application is already running okay for example let me take uh, teams okay um for example uh, i'm just taking example okay so team sometimes it won't respond properly and all no so for that you just open task manager and uh, click on process then right click on the uh, teams application then end task then you can reopen the application if it's all okay so for example if you click for another another application for example ledger or some other browser or some uh, applications also you can do it sometime uh, you you are not able to open your applications no so just come to this uh, part then you can end the task then reopen it it will get sorted okay so that kind of issue you can solve it from here and uh, you can see the system performance here memory utilization disk and cpu utilization okay and also you can stop the startup apps uh, yeah you can just disable directly from here as well okay uh once you follow these steps uh, then you have to restart your system okay uh after that um, uh let me show you one uh, tool okay so recently microsoft uh, released uh one tool so like whatever we did steps no so we can do it in a platform okay so let me show you first you have to uh, open any browser then search for pc manager okay so then download and install okay so mine is already installed let me open that okay pc manager uh here see guys uh, this is in the first home options so uh, if we clicked on the boost uh, all the tempor temporary files will be deleted and uh, the memory usage also will be decreased okay so let me click on the boost you can see here yeah see temporary files are deleted and uh, uh, memory usage is getting done down uh, and uh, next just click on the protection you can uh, scan your system directly by clicking here you can scan your system and also you can update your system uh, here also okay so if you click there then it will redirect to the update options okay then uh, the in the storage options you can see the large files uh, for example some large files will be there that, that you can directly delete it uh, you can uh, 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 search here then you can delete the large files okay and uh, you can deep uh, clean up your system in the application you can uh, uh, see the process management here you can end the task okay and then you can see the startup apps okay which is uh, enabled and all that you can see here you can disable directly from here okay and you can uninstall applications okay so this pc manager is very smart like you can uh, use it in all in one platform okay so it is easier and you can uh, try guys Thank you.